Hi, this is Joel, and I'm showing you how to compress your video to upload to the ERA Education Project dot com slash upload site. And I have a sample movie here. It's a QuickTime file, and I want to compress it. And the reason I want to compress it is because I need to make it smaller so I can upload it. The way I can find out the size of it is just to click on it once and then hold down the Command key and hold down the I button and it'll give me a little window here that'll tell me how big my file is. Up in the right hand corner it says it's 469 megabytes. That's too big to upload because it will take too long, crash the site, probably won't even get up there. So I want to make it much smaller. So I'm going to close this now. The way I do this is I use a program called Handbrake. It's a free program. It's for Windows and for Macs. Uh, I'm going to open up Safari now and just Google it, Handbrake. Um, you can see you can download it here. They have Mac and Windows versions. Hopefully this will be something that works on your computer. If not, we'll figure something else out. Um, but most of you should be able to do it with the equipment that you've told me that you have. So um, I've already installed it. Down here it looks like a pineapple with a cocktail and I'm going to click on that and open the program. What happens is um, it automatically opens to find the source video that you're going to use. If that it wasn't open, I'm just going to click cancel. I would just click on source up there in the upper left hand corner and then I find the file that I want. Mine's on the desktop. It's called sample. I'm going to choose it and then I'm going to open it. So now I've opened it and I have a preset that I use. You can make your own presets by just setting the settings the way that you want them, the way I show them, show them to you, and then just clicking on the plus sign, giving it a name, and clicking add. Here are the presets that I want. One is you want the format that says MP4 file. You want to check web optimize so that it compresses it for the web. Video codec setting is H.264. Frame rate is same of source. Average bit rate, make sure that that's checked and you put the number 1500 in there. For audio, just click on the audio tab and it'll give you the track here and just choose the codec AAC core audio. Stereo 44.1 and then the bit rate is 128. So that, those will be good settings. Click on picture settings and just make sure that the width says 640. 640 so just click the down button or the up button whatever you need to do to get the width to 640 um, over here where it says cropping I'd like these to be zeros so there's no cropping on the video I'm gonna click on custom so that I can click on the down arrows and make this zeros takes a little while sometimes I just don't want the video cropped it's trying to make some adjustments for me I don't want to do that so I'm gonna close that window and now it's ready to go. The only other thing I have to do is change the name. So I want to change it to the convention that was outlined in the instructions. And that is, the first thing is I want the assignment. So I'm going to say A, let's say it's assignment 1. And then I put a dash, and then I put my group letter and number. So I'm going to say G for group. Let's say I'm group 2. And then a hyphen. And then a three-letter month, M-A-R for March, and the date, which today is 5, and then a hyphen, and then the video number. Like if I had three videos, this would be video 1 of 3. And it's going to save it in the same location as my original file. And then all I do is I just click on the Start button. And it'll encode it down here in the bottom. It shows us as it encodes and when it gets to the end it's finished there we go at the end it says put down that cocktail your handbrake cue is done click OK I'm just gonna minimize this and now on my desktop I now have the new version of the video and again I can click command I to see the size of it and now you see it's much smaller it's 23.2 megabytes and it's still looks pretty good. So you can see looks pretty good. 
So that's it. Now I've made I've gone from a 469.2 megabyte file to a 23.2 megabyte file. So now it's much smaller and much easier to upload. If you have any questions, just email me at joel at eraeducationproject.com or call me 310-592-5848. Thanks.